This is a rewound stator for at least Neville high output car alternator. I'm hoping for over 600 volts out of this unit so I put some paper between the uh, phase windings on this unit. These units were used on or are used on trucks that have a lift gate or any application requiring a very high output. If you want to get any kind of power out of these alternators, you got to put on a standard size pulley. And I also machine the alternator shaft to accept the standard key. It did have a woodruff key in it. So now we can crank some power out of this guy. Before I button this unit up, I want to point out the fact that the voltage regulator for the field has been opened up and I bypassed the regulator with a jumper lead in there to the terminal. So now I will run an external supply for the field voltage. So here is the alternator mounted on a early style Briggs & Stratton 10 horsepower engine. Pulley ratio is 1.8 to 1. A quick view of the electrical connections. We have the three phase out of the alternator and we got the two field wires right down there going in. Two are terminal blocks for a convenient connection. So we should be topping 5500 RPM with this alternator if all goes well. There's the power supply for the field and the metered rectifier assembly. Voltmeter goes to 1000 volts. Amp meter at 25 amps. There is a three phase bridge rectifier and our terminal connections. For our trial run, I have six 200 watt light bulbs connected in series. There's our DC input with our series connection. Before I continue with the experiments, I put the cooling fan back on the alternator to avoid any heating problems because we're going to push some power out of it.
first test showed a load of about 900 watts with a voltage of just over 600 volts. When I put the fan on, we dropped about 20 volts. We're still over 600 volts though. And next, we're going to use a carbon arc of carbon electrodes. And we're going to watch the voltmeter and the amp meter full load to no load. see with those carbon electrodes we were pushing over one and a half kilowatts and the generator really never got warm with the fan on it open circuit voltage 700 volts that looks really good and next we're gonna run some number 10 solid copper and we're gonna burn it up with this other carbon electrode and we'll see what kind of sparks we can make I've just added an arc stabilizer to the circuit. This came off an old DC generator type welder. And we'll see if we can maintain a better arc on this setup.